Okay, so this tool is really incredible. It's called Tome, as I said, and um, the left side is just a main navigation or a main menu rather of um, your recent items, any notifications, um, your personal tomes, anything shared with you. I made a district um, tome account so that we could share with each other in the district, anything you've deleted, and then you can also invite members. Um, I've been toying with this. I've been making some tomes, but I want to show you how to get started. So the first thing you'll do is you'll click on the create button and you have a couple of choices. You can go down here. You can type in what you want their you, tome to make a, a presentation about. So if I just type in digital citizenship, and click enter. Now, Tome is going to create a digital citizenship um, presentation for me. I've given it absolutely no instructions. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers on this one, but it is pretty interesting that it can come up with some um, interesting topics around the broader concept of digital citizenship or the broader topic, rather, of digital citizenship. So you can go in and take a look. It's going to pull in components of digital citizenship. I could also take my outline from ChatGPT on the course that I created on digital citizenship, and I can actually paste the outline into Tome and have Tome create this presentation um, with the outline so that each slide is representative of different aspects of the outline. Now, the, um, the difference between Tome and say like a Google Slides or Slides Mania is that um, it's going to generate the um, all of the text for you and it's going to generate these AI um, images for you. So you don't have to go in and find images. Having said that, sometimes the images are a little weird or maybe you don't like them and you can go in and edit those images and put in your own. But let's just take a look really quickly. So navigating the digital, uh, sorry, this D digital landscape, a guide to digital citizenship. So remember, this is only based on create a presentation on digital citizenship. So let's see how it did. Nice. It has like a table of contents here, benefits, of safety, what is digital citizenship, benefits of <laughs> online safety, digital etiquette, responsibility. Not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, but again, I might, you know, want to just use this as my skeleton. And then I want to go in and I want to edit this to, you know, really talk specifically about different aspects of digital citizenship that I want to include. So obviously I could change the benefits of digital citizenship and I could make that heading something entirely different. I can change the text. So you've got the skeleton done, which is really nice. You've got some pictures in there. You know, they're not the most interesting. But again, as I said, you can edit this. You can edit the title, you can edit the text and you can edit the picture. So. Let's take a look at how to do some editing over here. So I can actually now go in and I can do some um, pretty cool things. I can, I'm actually going to close my, um, my video of myself so that I can add a couple of things and show you what your options are. So I can click on um, the image and I can change the image. I can upload something from my computer or I, I mean, I'm just going to grab this chat GPT image for the heck of it. And then uh, I can decide if I wanted to fit, oops, if I wanted to fill the page or if I want to custom. So I'm just going to do fit. And then let's take a look and see how it comes out. Click done. Okay, so it looks like it just slid everything over. So now I'm going to delete this image. And then this would be the replacement image that I um that I am using instead of the one that the AI generated. So some other things you can add, you can add a table, which I really like this. Let's say you wanna put in, um, I don't know, a rubric or some, you know, an outline, you could put the outline in the table. Um, some other things you can add would be, um, I don't know if anybody's heard of DALI, this is another AI generated artistic um, image creator and it is, remarkable. It's um, something I suggest you check out if you haven't already. Dali will pull, if you don't like the images that Tome came up with, you can use Dali to create original images and um, use those instead. So these are other um, options. You could put links in. Um, it looks like some of these are add-ons for Tome, and I actually haven't played around with those yet, so I can't really recommend those, but just so you can see that this is all customizable based on um, what you want your presentation to include. So let me delete that. I'm going to delete that. 
and go back to the right to the original presentation. So again, I made this based on two words, digital citizenship. So now let's give it a little bit more to work with. So here I am at the main menu and I'm going to click create. And now I'm actually going to use it a little bit differently. Now I'm going to take this piece of writing. And this was written by one of my sixth graders. This was just a writing for fun. This isn't part of my class. Um, but he was working on a, a little do now writing some stories that are interesting to him. And I'm actually going to just put the text of this story into this create um, box. And then I'm going to drop this down. And where it says presentation, I'm actually going to change it to story. And I actually haven't done this yet. Um, I am going to do um, images and I'm going to see, let's see, cyber, fantasy, neo. I think I'll just do auto and I will let the AI generate based on the content of the story. But as you can see, you can decide what um, style of images for it to create. And now I'm going to press return and it's going to create a visual representation of the story. The reason why I really love this is because when the students see the story um, with the uh, auto generated uh, visuals, it brings their story to life in a way that if they're not artistic themselves or they couldn't imagine, you know, what this world looked like, this is kind of a nice way for them to get, um, you know, some illustrations that would match their story. So it's basically taking the story and it's dividing it into pages and then it's pulling keywords and matching images or creating images based on those keywords. So this takes probably, you know, two minutes or so for it to complete the whole thing. The thing that I really like about this now is I can go up to share when it's finished and I can share this link to this tome with the student. So you can do a read only link. He's not going to be able to edit it. He doesn't have to have tome in order to read it. Um, the other option, and I'll just click on a couple of these so you can kind of see, this is a very rough, this is really cool. This is a very rough um, version of his story. This was not an edited uh, story whatsoever. So I would not likely use this um, this content for, for the final book in Tome, but in any event, you get the idea. Um, really cool pulling in these images. And again, these are um, original images, so there's no copyright issue. The other thing you can do if you don't like the way that the images came out, you can, like I said, you can go over here and you can change the images. You can use um, DALI, which is that um, AI generated image creator. So you could do that. You could pick your own images. Um, but again, this is a very cool way for the students to see their uh, writing come to life. OK, so I'm back on the home page and now I'm going to show you one that I just did. Um, a few minutes ago, what I did was I added four writing prompts. And so this is a, a good way to use this tool. I want the students to have the opportunity to create a piece of writing. They, the genre they've chosen is sci-fi and I have four different writing prompts in here. Um, the beginning of story ideas that then they can take and they can make their own. As I said, I can click share and I can share the link with them or I could present this in front of a class. And then you just tap through it as you would a slides presentation and it takes away you know, all of the um, editing elements. So that's another way to use this tool. Um, what I've learned is that there's lots of ways to also customize this. So I have the dark background, but you can change the background to any color you like. You can um, change the number of pages. Um, I like that. You can actually regenerate this entire thing. So if you have, if you've created this and you, it turns out that, um, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. This one you can't regenerate because these are my um, exact words and I chose to have them in exactly as they were written. However, if you go back and you choose the option below that says um, presentation. The, if you put those writing prompts into the presentation mode and you don't like the way that the writing prompts came out, that's when you can regenerate. So it's kind of like ChatGPT in that if you don't like the results of your query, you can actually just regenerate it and it will give you something different. Um, and then finally, let's go back here and I want to show you one other um, potential option. So I could do a presentation outline. So again, if I wanted to do, let's say, 
the digital citizenship once again. Now you saw what it looked like when I did the um, presentation. Now this is a presentation outline. So again, looks a little bit different. Maybe this is a nice place to start. And then you can have, um, you can create longer presentations based on any of these uh, outline topics. So for example, if I'm doing a lesson on, let's say I'm doing the introduction to digital citizenship, it made this, um, these three elements of this particular lesson, what is digital citizenship, the benefits and the responsibilities. I could take this, I could go into ChatGPT, I could copy the question, what is digital citizenship? And let's see if I have it open. Let me go back to my um, chat with ChatGPT on digital citizenship unit plan. And then what I'm going to do, let me choose this one, let's see if I can just paste that in. So what is, <laughs> I, mean, I know I've put this in multiple times, but ChatGPT is gonna give me the answer, what is digital citizenship? And then I can actually add this summary. This is a little bit long and a little bit um, wordy for my sixth graders, but I can take some of this and edit it down so that it's relevant to my sixth graders. Um, so for right now, I'll just grab this and then I'm going to go back into Tome. And now I can add another page. So if I click new page and choose the layout, so maybe I'll just choose, you know, the heading. And then I can put this into, um, this is obviously a heading, so maybe I would choose something different, but I can put this in and then I can click it and drag it and drop it into the digital, right underneath what is digital citizenship. So, oops, I grabbed the wrong one. It's right here. So now I have the introduction to digital citizenship. There's the glossary or the index, let me move that up. And then I moved to the conclusion. Let me move this back down. Now here is the definition of digital citizenship. And I could do that for each one of these. So the benefits, the responsibilities. This is pretty dry. I, again, would not do um, these direct words from Tome or ChatGPT. I would make it appropriate for my students. Um, but one of the things that hopefully you saw in my new revised um, intro to ChatGPT is that you can have this written for specific grades. So um, if I actually don't like the way this sounds, I can regenerate the response, but I can say um, rewrite using um, a relaxed tone appropriate for middle school students. And then maybe this is going to, you know, make it a little bit more user friendly for my middle school students. So I would then take this chunk of text and put that into Tome, delete the one that I just had, find a nice image to go with it or use DALI to create an image. And there we go. We've, we're building a new presentation on digital citizenship with beautiful visuals that really takes absolutely no time at all. So the combination between these two tools is incredibly powerful. So take some time, play around with Tome. I hope that you can um, find good use for it with all the different options I showed you. And um, if there's anything really cool that you wanna share with others, please um, feel free to put that message in the feedback and I will certainly make sure that the rest of the students of the course can see it. Good luck.